Good morning. I hope you enjoy your mostly construction video with a few other tidbits. Just pointing out that deer food area does have some lilies blooming. So, I don't know what's wrong with our deer. So I don't see any footprints today. Um, and we got a buttercup too. So I did notice a fawn running around with one of the deer ladies. So maybe she is just dealing with her children right now. And more updates. It got part of the roof off. The metal sheeting. Why? Because tomorrow the trusses come. So it is on.
gonna do a hitch come home today, but it's all there. These are houses. The trust guy and the dumpster guy arrived at the same time. So, that was exciting. While everyone's taking a break to make pizza for lunch. Scandia Trust. In Scandia we trust. End of day one on Project Roof. So they said I can go up there. So I'm going up. GoPro was on. So by the time you watch this, you'll know that already. <laughs> maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't have come up here after all. Looks a little different now. <laughs> Gives it a whole new meaning. It's nice. Looks good. We got floors. Gary's got an office. Oh yeah, it's my office. It's gonna be great, love. Wow. This is beautiful. That's gonna be two bathrooms and a closet and a hallway. Bedroom, bedroom, and a bedroom slash office. This wall actually doesn't physically move. Right, right. And so we could have completely removed this wall. Right. And then built a new wall and had a continuous floor, more or less. Right. But it was a toss up between how long we wanted you guys open, cracked open, right? Because we would have had to completely tear this out when we right. put this floor on. Yeah. And so it was the same situation here where we could have run this floor over oh, the rest yeah, of the yeah. way because this is up against your stairs right. and built a wall on top of this, which would have been a fully eight foot wall, but then we would have been cracking you open here as well. Right. And so what we'll end up doing is we'll sister to these and uh -huh. we'll continue up and make an eight foot wall. Oh, okay. And so this will come down and this actual, this truss here. Yeah. Well, is right on enough. the, it's right yeah. on the edge. We're not exactly sure. And so that's why this wall was important because we uh -huh. need to, we're coming here yeah. and we'll know where the trusses are going to end. So then we can square it up right. and I'll know where they're going to end over there. Wow. 
right. And then after that, we can make that decision on whether that trust is coming off or not. Right, because if it so. comes up and yeah, reduce. Oh, yep, so so just, if it comes off, we'll have to support the existing off you know, of that wall. That's, that's yep, and then this new gable truss, right? And yeah, so once yeah. it picks that up, we'll have to, you know, pretty much do the same thing where we'll attach a two by six to our new truss and I that'll support the sheeting. And to the, to this angle. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so it's it's a little bit of we'll see I, i've really yeah. been fingers crossed that the truss gets to stay because then we can just that would sister, be awesome. <laughs> sister yeah. right up to it yeah but unfortunately where this is going to end and the 24 feet right that's really going to decide whether or not that is going or not yes yeah. so there was discussion about well why can't we just stick it up there and you know where it ends is where it ends but no, right. all of a sudden you might have found yourself with like a 10, a 10 inch one. wall here you know yeah. and, so that's how we got to where we are. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's on again. This is the crane. That is the house. Here is the GoPro. So that's we got people making roof. Let's go. Let's go. Right over here.
I got some garden roundup for you. Um, apples coming in slowly but surely. Gary moved the logs from the backyard. So it's really nice and cleaned up back there, which is nice. And so exciting news in the garden department. Um, we've got some chilies. This is a beautiful little jalapeno. And I, of course, have some, my two little habaneros over there. Um, some chilies trying to make it over there. We'll see. Um, herbs coming up. Cherry tomatoes. Very beautiful. Nice spider. We did a slug check this morning, got quite a few slugs. This one, I think, has, yeah, there's a little habanero in there. It's so cute. Very nice. Okay, now this is the real fun one of the morning. Look at these baby cucumbers. <laughs> They're so cute. So we have a number of those and those are really fun. And then those very small cucumber plants are ones that I started from seed and they have flowers on them. So hoping for the best. There was a huge slug mowing on my marigolds this morning, but he's gone now. Um, tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Everybody's just focusing on growing right now. Um, onions, same. Although I don't really know what that means. Does that mean, I don't know, on the top of my onion? Is that good, bad? I don't know, anyway. Um, one kale plant's doing fine. Had a, another mammoth slug on one of the kale plants this morning. We have another nasturtium bloom coming in, and then there are a couple buds in here I saw this morning too. When I was looking around for slugs, yeah, there's one right there. That'll be a flower someday, hopefully. Cabbage, working on it. Okay, then on the potato plants, like what? Is flowering okay? I have no idea what that means. But on the top, these look great. Foliage wise, potatoes are awesome. I have no idea what's going on underground. There are a ton of mosquitoes out today. It's like proper mosquito weather. Our, one of our construction workers this morning said he's putting on his Uber cologne. Okay, then another fun thing that I will show you as far as the garden collection is concerned is over here in the compost pile. So I, in order to thin, you remember that these were all clustered in one space a few, a few weeks ago and so I spread them out and then I got rid of all the potato spuds, I guess you call them, that weren't growing and put them in the compost pile. So guess who decided to grow in the compost pile is a potato plant. Just one. See if it makes it. I've tossed a lot of slugs over here, so don't know if it'll make it, but there's our compost pile potato plant. You go, little buddy. I also put them in this pile of sod, but Good luck trying to pick anything out of, out of there. So, raccoons seem to be gone. Sandhill cranes seem to have moved on. We do have a dead fawn, tiny fawn carcass way back there. It looks like it was an aborted, naturally aborted 
an aborted fawn or something. Um, but I won't show you that on camera. You can just imagine that. But it's being ravaged by insects and other things now. So, yeah. Pretty morning, lots of fun stuff in the garden. Gary found the canning pot. It was in the garage, so that makes me happy. Gary and I are down at the park listening to the music community band. There they are. They're all volunteers. This band's been going for decades and decades. Jerry's brother, Gary's brother Jerry and his family are coming down. So that'll be nice. We just needed to make a quick recording because we are so happy and relaxed right now. Look at where we are and what we're doing. It's so awesome, hold on. We're sitting on the she shed. Gary has a little beer, I have a little bubbly water. And we're just sitting on this she shed patio in a great afternoon watching the construction birds are chirping got some cicadas just a couple cicadas and yeah really enjoying the afternoon so we thought we would share with you too this is like having my own wizard of oz moment we're in kansas we're in Oz. Here it is. Pretty cool. <clears throat> We're really excited. So, roofing. Super awesome. They're going to finish putting the plywood and the membrane stuff up today. So this is spare bedroom over there and it will, that will serve as Gary's office. So that was non-existent <laughs> before this began. It was just a little tiny attic and the roof was peeled off and replaced on this yesterday and the day before. Um, this was our former bedroom that I'm standing in right now with the gray floor. So that was our bedroom. And um, you can see on the floor a little bit uh, the outline of what's gonna happen to this. So this red line here, um, I'm not sure where it stops on this side, exactly where it's going to stop, maybe, I'm not sure. But anyway, that and farther into that, where, behind this wall is a, our, my closet in the loft. So that is going to be spare bathroom. Then over here, that over there is going to be the bathroom that attaches to our bedroom. Then this part here is going to be our closet that attaches to the bedroom. And then this over here is going to be the hallway. This is going to be removed to make room for the hallway. Um, okay, so that's that. And this, of course, is gonna be our bedroom. Looking good. And then the spare bedroom, other spare bedroom. So, we're happy that we are at this phase. It's nice. And, yeah.
feeling good, feeling ready for this to continue moving on. Fun morning out there, the wildlife. So, yep, we have a contained unit. In case you're wondering, that's not gonna stay like that. <laughs> it's gonna have a wall. Going back to Kansas. Ta-da! Unfortunately, the GoPro ran out of battery or something and didn't only recorded, but a bit of the roof putting on and then I didn't have a great angle where I put the GoPro. So here is just a little clip of the rest of the roof going up. It rained last night, so I came out early and picked off slugs. Conservatively, I picked off probably 25, maybe more slugs, but things are blooming, looking good. Looks like I need to harvest some kale, um, harvest some nasturtium, um, and then on this end down here, I do have to, oh, there's the sprinkler. It's been working wonderfully. Thanks for the tip. Um, a few other exciting things. You saw the cucumber in the previous clip. I have a, a real tomato. I had cherry tomatoes on the other side, but there's a tomato that's going to grow up to be a tomato. And uh, cucumber flowers, so. In addition to the little tiny cucumbers, we have more cucumber flowers. And then this is ready to pick too. A nice ancho chili. Um, my jalapenos. I am not, it's nice to see them. I am not sure because they had such, I had such trouble with the plants. I'm not sure if they're going to get bigger than that or not. So I'll let them go for a little while. But here's another a couple more ancho chilies that... I will pick soon. And then the habaneros. Um, another friend gave me a tip to mulch these things on this side. So we got mulched. And now for, oh well, before we do a roundup of the house, look how pretty it is with um, the fog that ju it just rolled in and it's so gorgeous. All the birds are doing fine. So it's really pretty. Loving it. Now let's go check out the house. Look at that addition with new roof in place. It is so gorgeous. It rained last night, but we did not have water inside. So it's just just incredible how different it looks. So let's go around to the side, or rather to the front, so you can see how the front looks. Not that it's so different. Looks like somebody's here already this morning. Oh, morning. morning. 
How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Just getting a little video of the new. I haven't been since the floor against the wall, so I haven't seen any of this. Isn't it amazing? So here's what the front of the house looks like, which is so incredible and beautiful. Joel is here. So just gonna give you the quick and dirty. It rained last night, but we're dry. Oh, I swept in here yesterday, picked up a little bit. So looking good. There's some of this stuff that I moved around to get off the floor. So they don't hurt us when we're looking for it. ready for them. It's so amazing. Over and out. That's it for this week. And it's been amazing and wonderful and I'm really, really grateful for where we are right now. It's nice to be at this stage in the construction. Have a great week.